pull, hard lines, does that feel like two points dropped? Yeah, it, yeah, it does. But the fact you're behind and show that spirit to keep going and come back, you never know when them when them points add up at the end of the season. So uh, we've got to be, we've got to take the point. But I was pleased with the performance. I thought we were, we were dominant throughout. We knew, we knew what the, um, Bristol's game plan would be and, and what their threats would be in terms of long ball up to, to Chris and then um, second balls from that and also on counter attacks. And it was a counter that, that got them their goal and when they looked most dangerous. Um, but yeah, we it's just you take your chance, it's a totally different game. And we didn't, but we fell behind, so I think I have to be pleased that we came back in and, and kept fighting and fighting to take a point that we yeah, we deserved that at least. I know it's always a bit more nuanced than just get it into the penalty area, but did were Sheffield United guilty of overplaying at times today? No, not at all. I thought all our chances came from passes. Um, the frustrating thing is Especially at half time, we saw five thing, five balls played across the six yard box, and we want people in there to put them in. But we know we've got missing. We've got our four front line strikers missing. Who, you know what I mean? They'll be at home watching those chances, thinking we should have been on the pitch. Um, but probably the fact that Morgan and Illuman played and played together allowed us to dominate the ball a lot more and, and be as creative as we were in the final third. But um, we also know the number nines that we're missing as well. So six and two threes in it. Would we have been as dominant and had the ball rolling across the six as much? I don't know. Um, but we'd have certainly had the, the players with, with that instinct to put it in. But as we said at half-time, it's not down to just the front players. Midfielders, I think Ender got in once and Ender and George at the back post. So it was a collective. Uh, but I certainly think we're a better team when we have that many bodies forward and in around the box. Certainly on the flanks, do you feel they grew into the game in terms of productivity, Baldock and, and Stevens? Yeah. Yeah, but I think a lot of that came from and the work we did with our outside centre backs wanting to them st to step in. Um, obviously, Bash naturally gives us that. Robbo did on the left, so it allows us um, against that shape that we played against to, to automatically get up the pitch. So I thought we controlled the game great in that respect. We missed chances, like, and you look at the I can think of three in particular first half which were really good chances take one or two of them and you're looking at a first half performance that's up there with anything but we didn't and then that makes it uh, a more difficult game to manage especially when you go behind to a team who like say a real threat on the counter Did it feel given the fact that a few other teams up there lost today that it's an opportunity missed? I might when I look back honestly I think you can get confused and clouded if teams have dropped points fantastic of course it helps us out but that's not our game plan to do what they're doing. We want to go and win. I think you can see that. You see the intent. Because um, that's the only thing we can control. If teams do us a favour and help us get there, brilliant. No problem. Um, but all we do is prepare properly. We'll prepare for the next game, Cardiff, and uh, try and get the three points then. You've mentioned absenteeism. <coughs> so, McBurney, how close was he to being involved today? No, his, his foot's huge. Uh, so he's had x-ray scans. He's got damage to a ligament in his foot. I think he's received the tackle as his foot's planted and twisted and also some slight fracture in of a bone. Um, it's not the worst news but not the best news but if you see the size of his foot at the minute you know he's nowhere near so yeah struggling to wait there um, so what we're going to do is give him uh, a scan and get the full extent of the damage um, so he, was, he was, wasn't close. In your kind of knowledge of these things, do you think, I mean, there's only two or three weeks, so it sounds a bit more dramatic than it is, but do you think yeah. he might play again this season? I'm hoping so. Yeah, I'll be led by everyone else. I'm hoping so. And certainly Ollie will be trying. Um, so, yeah, I'll just have to wait and see. Jefferson didn't make the match day squad today. Was that injury related to? No, just wanted to see Will. Um, like I said, they're battling it out. Will's been pushing and pushing. Um, and I felt he deserved his opportunity today. What do you feel he provides that Jebison isn't right now then? Well, we'll see, but he deserves his chance. Like I said, with the boys that, that we've got out at the top end of the pitch, I thought Illuman deserved his chance. I've seen a good reaction from him this last week and obviously getting the goal. And I thought him and Morgan did, did well. In a, in a role, certainly with Morgan and Illuman to a certain extent, which we asked him to do things they're not overly 100% familiar with, but I thought they did really well. But, but then Will come on the pitch um, and it's like when I'm chatting with Jebo and Will all the young players this is first team now you've got to have an impact you've got to, you've got to produce results you've got to help the team 
and I thought Will did that when he came on, held the ball up a couple of times. I know bring the energy, and you can see him work his, his, his footwork to get a shot off from the edge of the box. Um, so we want to see more of that. How significant for the final few matches of the season is it that Basham is now back, who brings something unique to the team? He does, yeah. Listen, the first thing he said to me when he, when he came off, he's disappointed with the goal, which is Ian, nine times out of ten, he defends that differently. We know he does. Um, but I thought he had a good game, and if you, if you count it to the fact that the number of training days he's had with us, which is very few, and to do 90, that, that's, that's outstanding. So, yeah, he, I know he's disappointed with that goal, but I'm really pleased to have him back. The team's really pleased to have him back. And he's an important member of our squad. Just finally, you mentioned a few strikers, but... Billy Sharp alluded to TV a couple of weeks ago that he might make the Cardiff game Monday, prior to the Cardiff game. What do you reckon? Yeah, I'm hoping we can get him involved. Um, yeah, I'm hoping we can get him involved. We all are. We're all positive, obviously. He needs to have the perfect week in terms of hitting all his markers. I know he's had a great day today and you're really pleased with him. So he's on track.